Before time began, there was the cube. It's spherical! <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the Bandai Limited Movie Monster Series, Godzilla Minus One, Godzilla Theater Exclusive Version. Right out the box, Minus Goji is going to be standing a little bit over six inches tall, which is the exact same size as the original standard wide release Minus Goji, so it's all an aesthetic change. This was really made for the people that kind of missed out on the first run of theater exclusive figures. And beyond all that, you compare them to other figures, you'll get something different each and every single time, unless it's another Minus Goji from the Movie Monster series. And of course, I'm cool with that. I get how many friggin' Hedoras a year, so hey, a translucent blue and glitter Godzilla figure is right up my alley after having to do another dessert-themed Pandora. And as you'd expect, the articulation is all the same. Full rotation in both of the arms and both of the legs. Nothing in the head and nothing in the tail. And now we can focus on what really matters here. That being this beautiful and glorious purple tag! Bandai. More purple is needed across your figures and tags. Mostly your figures though. Come on, what do you got against purple? Is it too royal for you? Now I can openly correct myself as this tag does differ from the wide release and the metallic release. As you can see here, different tag. And hey yo, another different tag. And I guess I might as well toss this in now so nobody thinks I don't know. There is another exclusive variant of that of Minus Goji that is exclusive to that of Jungle Hobby or Jungle Anime over in LA. It's essentially the same thing as the metallic version, but he's got blue eyes, the metallic-iness is a bit brighter, and he also has a purple tag. But anyway, an all purple tag with an all blue figure. That's matching it up perfectly, Bandai. Godzilla 2023, Godzilla 2023, Godzilla 2023. Bandai Namco, Godzilla minus one. That says, the, I don't know, maybe Toho Theater or God Theater, I don't know. Movie Monster Series. Side of the tag cut out to Goji's dorsal fins. Everything on the inside is purple. And now we must double sleeve this man. First off, with some Ultra Pro card sleeves. Very cheap and at Amazon. Link in the comment section down below. Royal Blue Boy with the Royal Purple Tag Meat Plastic Silk. And now for a top loader. Also from Ultra Pro. Regular or what was the other one? Premium definitely work. I wouldn't bother with the thick uh, variant while we do all love and enjoy the thickness. I don't know how well those would go with uh, Godzilla Movie Monster Series tags. Yeah. Yeah. Yet again, link in the comment section down below. Amazon hit me up with that affiliacy, bro. And there we go. Truly cinematic and purple. <laughs> and now I guess we can discuss the figure itself in which all I have to say is... This man ain't just blue. This man is ultra blue. Look at that. Ultra blue. One of Utada Hikaru's very best albums ever non-contestable. Oh yes, this man just bleeds and seethes that Jordanian Sonic Adventure 1 ocean water aspect to him because he glistens in the light. The light glistens through him. And while most of the details on the figure might be lost to that of the naked eye, I urge you, just shove it into your eyeballs and you'll see a hell of a lot better. Hmm. Me no see detail. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. Okay, maybe don't do that. That was actually kind of painful, even though I was faking it. But oh my god, with the glitters, the blues, the glitter that's closer to the main layer of vinyl and the glitter that's deeper into the vinyl. This thing is an absolute experience to the eye. Now, I don't know about you, but just looking at this thing, man, makes me want one of those blue Gatorades. Either of the blue Gatorades. There's a few blue Gatorades, isn't there? But under the right amount of light in this translucent and unpainted vinyl figure, you can see that plethora of details that this figure does indeed have. It's just, you know, not really in your friggin' face about it, but with something like this, I just do not care. Because this dude is true, cool, and bluer than Walter Off-White and Jesse Eisenberg's meth. Breaking bad meth blue goji. There you go. Now, we've seen this figure what? This is now the third time on this channel in this format, just with no paint, so I'm not going to be crazy with this, but I do just want to say he looks fantastic. And the way these dorsal fins just catch the light, whether he's being lit from the front, the back, the side, it's just so lovely. 
It's so simple, but it works. Simple, effective, short, sweet, to the point. And just look at all that glitter. Never before has Godzilla felt and seemed so pretty. Wow. Hiya Toys, if you're watching this, because I know you follow me on Twitter now. <laughs> Monster vs. Goji like this, please. Just, you know, with different painted on blue, white, maybe a little bit of black accents on there. Mwah, mwah. That one's for the Criterion Collection. Can I keep gushing about this? Sometimes all it takes is a paintless, near featureless to the naked eye vinyl figure to really help you appreciate the beautiful and deep detailing that Bandai does with their vinyl figures. Once simple and everyday details are now just that, but in different forms of blue with a whole bunch of glitter in it. Man, you even have a reason to look at the bottom of the feet on a figure now, unless you're into that type of stuff. You can still see the Bandai China and the serial numbers over here. You can still see the trademark Toho Company Limited stamp over here. It's just the Vincent Van Gogh starry blue night sky that just makes it all the more appealing. I'm what I like to call a long-winded immersive reviewer. I want to show you every inch of a figure like this, or figures in general, just so I can help sell you on it. And this is absolutely one of those figures that just needs that. I mean, look at those big blue titties. Every angle and every little pose you can get out of this thing is an experience. And honestly, I'm really considering this as one of my favorite 2023 figures. Even though I got it and reviewed it in 2024, we're gonna be breaking the rules for that vid when it happens. Which, uh, after the next two videos I have to record, should be very soon. Get hyped for that. Get ready for that. Office and collection tour soon too. He doesn't have paint, he does have detail, he doesn't have any new articulation, but I'm still going to have to give this guy three solid stars. For detail, for articulation, and for just the fact that Bandai still knows how to do these theater exclusives and really make them feel worth it worth the exclusivity, absolutely. Of course, with a figure like this, we have one more aspect that we do need to talk about, and we'll get to it, I promise. And I do hope you forgive me for not being, like, excruciatingly lively for this video, just because it is another remold. I just talked about a Hedora remold, and, you know, it's hard to really get excited for the same figure with different paint, and... Never mind. Shinra, Jira. Why you collect so many remold and repaint? I'm secretly Thanos and I'm collecting the infinity vinyl. The great snap will have every tail painted to the tip. Anyway, enough of this regular channel cringe. Let's see how translucent this guy is. It's a very simple thing to do because you just need a source of light. Shine some light behind this MF and he'll initiate prime Stan Bush vibes. <laughs> A lot of Transformers jokes in this video, huh? But golly, just look at that. Oh my God, I just wanna shove a straw in him and drink his essence. And no matter the angle, no matter where you shine the light through, I mean, you're gonna see right through him the details are going to be super illuminated, and you'll even see all the little glitter bits inside of him as well. Just look at that. This man is all poxed up, bro. Oh, the thighs and body won't be blocking out no light. Through the other side of the body, moving into the arms, this man is just peak Jordanian. I mean, even when you hit him from the back, bro, look at that. <laughs> Godzilla LED back shots, bro. <laughs> to put this in the most respectful way possible, a uh, solid star for translucency. The man just kills it. But anyway, I have been Shin Rob Jira. I do so hope you all enjoyed this video. I might see you at some point again this week. I might not. I've got a Valentine's Day special to film and probably will drop another Neckathon video next Friday. This Friday, however, I will be joining Figure Mania Show, Luminous, G Forever, and Kaiju Canuck for a live discussion about Haya Toys' 2024 figure put out. The hype. I should say. And I'm very excited for that. I will post a link to that stream the day that it is happening. I hope to see all of you there, or at least some of you, because, dude, that's awesome. I can't wait. I get to talk about Haya with some homies. It's gonna be awesome. Social media, Patreon, dollar a month, access to everything. I don't know, man. I'm blue.